Annyeonghaseyo. My name is George. I'm originally from New York. Grew up there and lived there until I went to college in New Hampshire. Once I graduated school, I kind of started driving around all over the place, getting jobs here and there, a lot of seasonal stuff. Lived out of my little Ford Ranger for about two years, drove that until it died on me. Yeah, I've been hopping around all over from Alaska down to the West Coast, East Coast, most recently in Tahoe area, and now back up here. Once I graduated uh, college, I moved out to California and got an mm -hmm. apartment out there. Bought my my little truck out there, eventually converted that into kind of a livable uh, truck. Okay, <laughs> and, you, uh, you didn't get a job after you graduate college? I did. I worked, um, I worked as a camp counselor in, uh, in California, Abbott mm -hmm. for Adventure. From there, yeah, I've been a security guard, ski patrol. I worked at a, at a sporting goods shop in the ski department there. Worked as a EMT, that's what I'm doing out here. Yeah, and a lot of kind of odd jobs, golf courses, a lot of maintenance jobs too along the way. You have a lot of experience of job. Uh, I guess you could, <laughs> you could say that. I'm you know, kind of kind of well-rounded. I wouldn't quite say a master in, in anything, but been uh, been at having a lot of different jobs lately. So yeah, it's good. You know, it's I, I like that well-rounded <laughs> rather than you know just focusing on one thing. I like a little bit of a little bit of everything. You know, always learning something new. This is my rig. You know, I don't truly have a name for it. I call it, you know, the rig or van or whatever. But um, yeah, she came from Pennsylvania. Bought her last summer. Built her out using a lot of kind of recycled wood, reclaimed wood mm -hmm. from some old barns and stuff. Gave it kind of a rustic look. And uh, yeah, when I'm in there, it doesn't feel like I'm in a van. It almost feels like I'm in like a cabin slash wine barrel. Dang. Pretty much all by myself. Um, yeah. And uh, yeah, it's pretty simple, pretty rustic, but you know, it does the job for me. I kind of, I kind of like that. Don't, don't have anything too flashy, but yeah. Rig itself was just about ten thousand dollars, a little under. What um, year is this? It's a two thousand eight E two fifty, and bought it with twenty five thousand miles on it. You know, pretty, pretty good condition all, all around. Not too much rust, and it was used by a catering company. So hopefully they weren't, you know, carrying too, too heavy of loads, but. Uh, got me back and across the country a couple times so far and up and down and kind of all the, all the place with no problem so it's been good so far you know basic got the light bar up there that little strange looking thing up there that's a little homemade bike rack mm -hmm. and that top thing is full of just winter gear and all kinds of fun stuff um, yeah there's slightly bigger tires than on 14 4 trying to take it you know somewhat off road to get into good some good camping areas it looks like lift up uh, it's actually not. It doesn't have any kind of lift on it. Those are just the, the bigger tires um, mm. on it that gives it that little bit of extra lift that are, you know, not too important around here, but especially in snow, just that little bit of extra height yeah. to get over that snow is good. And no running boards makes it look higher. Yeah, yeah. That. And you do got a ladder. That's cool. Yeah, a ladder to get up there, up and down frequently. This I always call my little, like, workshop, kind of. I've got my, uh, little my tools there and... This is my little like work table and then a vise here. It just screws in. So mm -hmm. if I'm getting bored one day and want to chisel something, carve a little spoon or something, I can usually do it back here or, you know, make some cuts on something. I always like using my hands and stuff. Oh, oh, sorry, one second. Oh, that's pretty cool. Bye, sir. Get inside. We like hidden compartments and stuff. Yeah, that was, you okay. gotta have hidden compartments. But that's cool. So you do some okay. word work and stuff? Yeah. Uh, bring it around. Look at this. Nice little chimney that'll puff out good smoke. These are, my mother made these for me, but just magnetic, you know, mm. insulative and great, uh, great little things there. Nice. Inside, a little, a little dark, but suits me well. Storage under the bed. It's a climbing. My mattress is actually a climbing crash pad. I can lay down perfectly fine, fine in it. I'm not mm -hmm. too tall of a guy, so. Mm -hmm. um, yes, yeah, all storage underneath. So the little wood stove here that, you know, it'll heat it up in here, and you know, half an hour it'll be hot. You know, it'll be. 20 degrees outside, zero degrees outside, and it'll still be warm in here, so. 
Yeah, that's my only only heat source. And usually uh, all in, under here is uh, is wood storage. Mm -hmm. Don't need it too much right now, so there's no wood under there. Just you know, literally a tree right outside. You know, a mm -hmm. stick on the ground. The good thing about this little stove is like, you know, you imagine getting wood for a uh, you know a fire. You're getting a big armload of wood, but a little thing like this, you're grabbing mm -hmm. just like one stick, you know, one handful, and it'll yeah, get you an, an hour or two of, of heat. So, you know, a little, little basket or a little five gallon bucket full of wood will last you, you know, three days. So that was about $500 or so. It's the company in, uh, in, mm. in Canada. It's a cubic mm. mini, but I've been super happy with it. And, you know, I was kind of contemplating, you know, f uh, fuel, you know, some kind of uh, propane heater or something and kind of thinking, you know, that, that burns fuel fuel too and you have to pay for that fuel maybe you know this will <laughs> save me but the the fire at night makes it so much more kind of homey it just feels like you're home no smoke comes in nope nope not 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 yeah. at all not at all the ashes burned out you clean up ashes does it make you bother me no not at all it's it's not a mess you know everything is contained mm. i've got a little um a little just metal canister and a shovel mm. shovel it out you know every every two days three days or so and um, and it's it's perfect, you know. It's I would say it's not quite for everyone, but I absolutely love it and wouldn't want any other kind of heat. You know? So you cut the roof, yeah, and just then... steal it off a little bit. You know, it's super simple procedure to put it in. Just cut a couple holes. Mm. <laughs> I like that. And then yeah, these are all reclaimed, you know, board siding from an old uh, 1800 barn. Yeah, yeah, kind of double doors can still see out. My little wardrobe. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's my. Yeah, I, like I, a head photo. Exactly. When this breaks down, you know, I run out of gas or something, I hop on that thing. She is like the perfect size because yeah. you know, I can stand up and and still still sweep out. <laughs> so, and uh, this is my little hangboard for mm -hmm. for uh, pull ups and kind of climbing training. You just yeah. <laughs> okay, two two ten more. <laughs> let me, more? Let me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you gotta, gotta just hang. Uh -huh. One, two, three, <laughs> four. Wow, that's nice. Yeah. You're a climber? Yeah. Once I was a climber too. You're here. Oh, it's hot now. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, you got excuses. <laughs> Again, there's a bigger too, one and a smaller one. It's yeah, too long. It's, it's been too long. I, I haven't done this. <laughs> yeah, it's all ins insulated with uh, yeah, fiberglass insulation, then uh, rigid foam insulation as well. So the roof, the ceiling, and the walls are. I didn't put any insulation on the floor. So you basically you didn't spend money for these wood things. No, this this was very very minimal for the inside. You know mm. the the real expense was that little wood stove, but mm. everything else was reclaimed wood. You know I would give it definitely under five hundred dollars for the whole kind of inside build. Maybe you know I think the main thing I bought was the floor mm -hmm. and these uh, just the, the plywood thin plywood siding. So you know probably. Four four hundred dollars, kind of for all that with the floor and and some of the other stuff, but yeah, yeah, most of it was kind of reclaimed wood that I was finding. You know, some of this, like the top of this cabinet, was a uh, mm. a hardwood floor. Um, you know, just had some scraps at the end of a project that he was getting rid of, so yeah. grab those. You know, same thing with some of the the counters top over there. Kind of tried to get as yeah. much reclaimed wood as I could. What do you use time. this for on hinges? Like as a little. Uh, this, or what this, do you yeah, do? I've got two of these, um, and I actually usually cook on top of this. So, oh, okay. This one goes up. You know, I usually put my stove on here when I really cook, mm -hmm. and then that cabinet right there flips up. So, if I'm cooking dinner and you know need to prepare dinner, I, you know, sit right there, and I've got a you know almost table right there and right here and counter space over there. So it just the whole kind of thing turns into counter space, and I can have. You know, one pot here, one pot here, cook here, it just gives me way more table space. So do you like kneel when you cook or just bend over? Like, my, what's uh, the best way to do that? Okay, so you sit. Yeah, I've got my... And my you just swivel and cook. Oh, yeah, then I'm, you know, ready. You're ready to rock and roll. Yeah. He's got his... <laughs> okay. 
Yeah, so do you like the low easier. low van or would you prefer a higher van? I you know, I would love to be able to stand, but for the you know stuff I'm doing right now, I'm not spending too much time in the actual van. You know, just nights cooking. I'm I'm fine with it like this. You know, it saves me just headspace, getting through tight spots and yeah. a little bit more. You know, uh, stealthy without the big top on above. So, you know, I would love to stand, but. If someone just handed me a, a high top, I would still take, you know, the van like this style. Oh, okay. Just for what I'm doing right now. You know, maybe maybe I build another one in the future. I'll get one that taller that I can actually stand up in. But I'm fine just kind of sitting like this right now. Cool. Yeah. Do you wear that for a particular thing or is it? Uh, I use, I like to wear it if it's, if it's raining out, if I'm, you know... Really, if it's raining, I was just a good brim mm. all the way around. But look at kind this. of sun yeah, hat too. It's so handsome, kind that of cowboyish. It's my my good hat. It's actually chewed. We used to have a little parakeet, a little parakeet named Sweatpants. Um, but she used to love sitting on this hat, and she would always chew those edges. Is this kind of one of your only sources of power here? Yeah, yes. that is. Mm. I'm not, you know, running too much. Yeah, I'm still at work, so I can charge that thing up just fine. I don't have any solar, but charge a computer charge my phone probably like 10 times or so and don't really need it for much else don't really have too much electricity that i really need to run in here maybe later solar if you had more demand yeah, yeah once you know get somewhere just more demand but you know right now i i don't feel like i i need it you know i kind of thought I, I i would and it would be a thing i would put in eventually but i mean that's just that's been all i needed it kind of makes you not be consumed with all your gadgets if you don't have it. Yeah, yeah, you know, sometimes the computer's dead and I can't flip on a, a movie, so it makes me, you know, just kind of play a game of solitaire or find and listen to good music, and it's kind of kind of nice actually literally not being able to, you know, plug in your phone or just a little sol solitaire game. Yeah, you know, you, you jump one and take the one you jumped away, and you got to get only one standing left. It's Did you make game. it? Uh, this one was made by my uh, great grandfather, actually. Cool. No cooler. I have a, a little Yeti cooler under here, mm. but um, even so, when I'm living in a place like this where the grocery store is is right there, go in the grocery store, you know, every every two days or so. So what I get, you know, kind of is that meal and eat it before it goes bad. I do have a cooler for I, you know, going out for four days, five days, however long on a, a trip somewhere, and and need to keep stuff cool fill that up that yeti cooler up but again just kind of try to get stuff that doesn't go bad for the most part <laughs> was is that hard or has that always been kind of like you've always eaten that way or yeah I, i've always eaten that way pretty much a uh pretty much a, a vegan mm -hmm. um at least that's my diet wouldn't quite say i'm a 100 percent true vegan but don't eat meat try not to eat meat so that's kind of out of the picture for going bad. Eggs every once in a while, but you know, no milk, no real dairy, just vegetables and stuff. And I'm surprised though you can deal with the low roof. It's lower in here than I would feel. Cause like, I mean, I'm short. Yeah. And if I feel like it, I wouldn't like it. I, I can't imagine you, I really can't. Yeah. Are you like 5'11"-ish? Uh, yeah, 5'10", five, five, 5'11", five, five, yeah. Um, somewhere between there. I just and... don't think I would like it. Yeah. it's. Yeah, I guess I've just gotten used to it and kind of just accepted it as what I have. You know, can't, can't just can't just have have the one with the roof. So I'm kind of just. Did you hit your head a lot at first? <laughs> um, and then oh. did you come a time where you just <laughs> no longer hit your head anymore? Ever like I, ever I walk, I walk in the same hunched over uh, height. But uh, no, I would say I didn't. I hit my head on. This guy a couple of times coming out, but uh, mm -hmm. that's sharp that, too. That, that appears, but, yeah, but but no, um, I, I didn't hit my head too much at least. I don't think maybe I knocked myself out a couple times. Remember, but uh, <laughs> I, don't, I don't recall hitting my head too much. <laughs> Do you know what your name is? My name is yeah. Uh, uh, you don't remember? Yeah. <laughs> he his head too many times. Cool man, thank you. Yeah. Okay, thank you so much, George. Yeah. yeah. My, my house. Yeah, you have beautiful house. Thank you. Thank you.